Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this video tutorial I want to show you something I stumbled over while I did a little bit of research about materials. I worked on um, a terracotta material and I put it, it on a tile and there were the point where the problems has begun for me because um, terracotta is a something special on tiles. If you have a normal tile like marble or stone, it's no problem. You can make one big object, you can um, modeling your tiles in there, then you take one big texture, put it over, do your specular map, do your normal map and so on, no problem at all. But if you have terracotta, there is a problem. You can do two things. The first thing is you do one big object, modeling it out, do your normal maps, do your um, do your uh, specular map, and so on. And with the color, the specular, there is where the trouble begins. If you have a new terracotta floor or wall, no problem. But if you have a terracotta floor and it's old, you have something special. Ev every single tile is unique. There's no, there are no two same tiles on your floor. I've been in Italy several times. My wife is Italian, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> if you walk years and years and years over terracotta floor, this tiny coating on the surface, something like glass, I think, um, this is well, yeah, it's it's used as it's nothing there anymore, or only in a few parts of this. So you have um, a really difficult spectrum map. You have uh, dirt on on each tile. You have some partly destroyed uh, tiles, and so on and so on. And there was a point I asked myself, how can I do that? How can I um, fight against this problem? And I came up with this solution. I'm using a particle system. Um, I'm for this. Uh, I'm not making uh, this uh, much uh, tiles, but um, for another project, I'm. I will be doing. Uh, I will doing some uh, more tiles, and then I show you how it looks uh, with more developed floor um, texture thingy system, whatever. Um, but for now, um, I duplicate only one tile two times and give it a different color only to show you how it works. Okay, uh, let's jump in and let's get rid of this render here and for safety reasons let's just duplicate this guy here and move it to the last layer. It's something like my backup layer. And now let's just recenter. 3D cursor and let's move this to the center so we have it all placed in the middle, the center where it should be. Okay. Now um, let's just move this guy to level four, to layer four, and go to layer four. Um now we have to make our emitter and the emitter um, is um, 
yeah it, it should be it should mirroring the, the size of each tile and because we are using a grid distribution um, these tiles should have the same size as the tile on top then okay let's just do that and tap into this tile here and let's grab this edge loop here and just duplicate it and separate the selection and just move this thing here to layer 5 and work on layer 5 let's go in edit mode, let's give it a face and now we need the tiles for this we are choosing in the modifiers add modifier array modifier and we input 10 here and then we copy this and we zero the x out and y we put 1 in so now we have 10 by 10 and now we need the geometry of this. This is easy, just apply this one here. Okay, we have to tap out and then apply and apply. Now, we see we have 10 by 10, we have 100 uh, tiles. Now just tap out, tap out and let's do the origin to the geometry and let's move the selection to the cursor and just for good practice apply rotation and scale now um, I have my uh, my previous test file on the other screen so I can have a look on the, on the particle system because I can't remember all of them uh, even if I had made it uh, 15 minutes before, but um, it's really um, yeah better. I look at my original file, and I can tell you then I make mistakes. Okay, um, let's just add now a particle system. Add just a particle system here, and because we want to emit here objects we have to work here real quick on this guy here let's just apply the rotation scale okay and we'll just duplicate this guy here and move it over and duplicate it again and move over and let's just get rid of this material add a new diffuse material and color it yeah, green this is just for for see the difference between the materials here let's just add here diffuse as well and color it uh, yeah red it's doesn't matter what color it's only for showing you how it works okay now let's just group this together um, if you make make this um, and you want to put in this group 15 or 20 tiles doesn't matter it works perfectly the more you uh, put in there the better is uh, the random distribution of the particle system. So now let's just group it and yeah, name it whatever you want. I name it tiles and let's jump into the particle system this layer here the particle system. Okay. Um, we want to distribute from faces. I don't want random and I don't want the even distribution because I want grid and on the velocity I don't need velocity uh, at first we have to start and end is the same 
because we want to emit them immediately and not over time. Then velocity zero, um, no physics, but we need a size of one. I don't want to render the emitter and um, I need to check the group here and I have to select my group right now and there's my group and if I select pick random it picks randomly one of them out of this group. Now let's just get the lightning and the camera move the camera back a little bit, zoom out, like this, like this, and then hit render, and hopefully, yeah, it picked randomly some of the tiles. And there you are. That's the solution for terracotta. Make 10 or 15 different tiles, put them in there in your particle system and all will, will be fine and dandy. Don't have the problem that there's uh, a recognizable uh, a rec they, are, they are recognizable that they are the same. If you put enough tiles in there nobody will recognize it. But it's like every time um, it's all about the details. If there's a same structure, a same texture, your eyes will recognize this. And if it's distributed a little bit randomly with um, different tiles, your eyes won't be able to recognize the, the, the texture, the pattern on uh, this floor not on the first view, not on the second view, maybe if you look really closely you can see see it, but um, you know what I mean. Okay, that's it. That's my solution for the terracotta problem. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.